<laughs> In honor of one of my favorite movies of all time, High Fidelity. I thought it would be kind of fun to make a show that had to do with my top fives. In just about every category imaginable. What sort of categories, you ask? That's where you come in! Leave a comment on this video telling me what category I should use next. Top five blank. But since this is the first episode, I'll pick. So let's get right into it. Today is top five YouTube musicians. Number five. Mike Lombardo. Abby never flies, Abby never flies, flies on the road. I met Mike last summer at a YouTube gathering, but I've actually known about him for longer. And strangely enough, it's not because of YouTube. It's because of a little known contest called Song Fu. Basically, it's like the Iron Chef of songwriting contests. You get a secret ingredient that you have to include in the song, etc. It's really fun. Me and my wife did it one year. Mike also did it that year, and that's how I heard about him. I started looking up his music, and I actually really liked it. It was pretty good, and he's a pretty cool guy. So make sure to check out his channel. Link's in the doobly-doo. Number four. Lizzie Russo, aka Lizzie Radio. I used to Lizzie is another one of my internet friends that I met at VidCon this year. I was introduced to her music online by other friends, and I grew to love her sweet, sweet voice. Check her out. At number three, in the third spot today, we have the ever so lovable Pomplums. Don't be mad when you see that he wants it. If you like it, then you better. Pomplamoose is actually a collaboration between Natalie Dawn and Jack Conte. Two very excellent YouTube musicians in their own right, but together they form a magical... I can't explain it. They do great covers and great originals as well. Go check them out. Amazing! Number two! JB Dazzin, JB Dazzin, JB Dazzin, Days with JB Dazzin! I can't say I am sure, couldn't we discuss this over tea? There's a time and place for all to disagree I actually found JB Dazzin through Dan Brown. He had linked to some looping cover of some song that was probably by the Beatles. I don't actually remember much about that first song, but I do remember all of his original songs, which are amazing. JB is from the Netherlands. He's got an awesome voice and his songwriting skills are, I love it. Just love it. Check him out. On the number one. Is it high? I'm sorry. This is sort of breaking the rules my first time, but it's my first time, so leave me alone, okay? The number one spot today in Bud's top five YouTube musicians has got to be a split between Lauren O'Connell. It ended, so I guess it's just as well. But that's why sometimes I think I might go to hell. And Ryan Sealer. True life kills the winter nights in the sun. Freeze life in a heavy heart. And we wait as a feet sink deep in the cool, clean sand of a Russian stream. Lauren O'Connell may unfortunately be best known as being Julia Noon's best friend. Now don't get me wrong, I love Julia Noon's and everything, but Lauren's just just, just ridiculously mind-blowing. Her voice, her choice of instrumentation, her multi-instrumentality, everything, it's just, everything's amazing. Her songs are just eerily haunting and enjoyable at the same time. Ryan Sealer is probably best known as one of the members of Ministry of Magic, a wizard rock band containing other popular YouTube musicians such as Luke Connard and Jason Munday. But Ryan actually released a solo album this year and it's really, really good. It's acoustic style music, it's, it's very entertaining, it's very enjoyable, and the lyrical content of the songs is something I personally enjoy. Once again, like I've said for all the others, you should check them both out. And that does it for today. If you enjoyed today's top five, give me a thumbs up. Since this is part of Pilot Week, the more thumbs up I get, the more likely I am to do another episode of this show. Give me that sign of internet approval. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.